Good morning, everyone. Day 118. Day 117 was a day off. I took almost no pictures, no video. Spent it with the high school family and friends. And uh, it was wonderful. Uh, but just got dropped off here at the trailhead by Hikers Welcome Hostel. And getting ready to do a creek crossing here. And I believe with brand new shoes, they're about ready to get wet. I see Bob trying it without it, but I'm not sure. 118. It's like 18 miles today, very difficult. This is a uh, Musalak or Musalaki, however you want to say it, uh, mountain. It's an easy side going northbound, steep, steep, steep side going southbound. And uh, right now, got to get across this stream. Bob's making a good effort. I may go up there a little bit and try it. We'll see, see how wet he gets first. His balance is a little better than mine too, so. Oh well, stay tuned, we'll see. There's some clouds on top of all the mountains right now. I'm not sure we'll get clear uh, clear video today or not and how much it's gonna rain, but the forecast actually looks pretty good. It's cool out. I got a new uh, new shirt, sent my green shirt home for the Wall of Fame. And uh, let's get across the lake. It's 8.30, 8.45 in the morning. It's a real late start, a lot of miles. So I'm gonna try to limit this today, the video and picture so I can get moving. Catch up soon, bye. Well, we're under 400 miles. Uh, we've got about 398 to go. Somewhere around there. Another mile would be the 1800 mile mark for this year. Stay tuned. Getting closer and closer with some big, big climbs between here and there. Let's go do it. Well, after a great evening with some family and friends and seeing my uh, semi-adopted father, the Greek priest of the town I grew up in. It's a different moment as in for everybody this year. Here we go. We start to climb the Musalak summit. Four miles that way. Let's do it. All right, that's it. 1,800 miles in the books. 397.4 to go. Let's get there. Starting to feel like a, we're getting uh, the possibility is very real to get to Katahdin now. But you got to be real careful. There's some tough, dangerous parts coming. If you rush or do the wrong thing, you can get hurt. And this is a bad time to to stop a hike. You got a lot of time, money, energy, mental energy invested. So you want to just do the right thing from here on out. And you know, I'm sure there will be a couple more falls, but just got to minimize the risk. Make sure we get there. Take care. Just met three students from Dartmouth. They're part of the Dartmouth Out Outdoor Club or Outing Club, DOC. They're out here doing some trail maintenance on the AT and some of the other trails around here. They do a great job. Appreciate everything you guys do. The signs you, you have out on the trail are pretty cool. I'm sure that club is the one responsible for all the cool signs we've been filming since Hanover. Good job guys, thanks for everything. Here's a generally what it looks like going north on Musalak Mountain. Bob's already up there, but that's really steep. I know it's hard to tell on a camera, but it's way up there. I just stopped for a quick water break and he's gone. That's all right. We got a long day today. Started late, got a long way to go. Stay tuned. We're getting up there, getting close to being in the clouds. We're gonna lose the visibility soon. We heard it's in the thirties up there on the summit and blowing 30, 40 miles an hour. We got a while before we get there to find out. All right, reached the uh, area of the South Peak of Musalak. 
it's down there. We're socked in the clouds, so I'm not going down there. A third of a mile round trip's not a big deal if it wasn't full clouds. Here's where we came from, 4.4 4 miles this morning. It's taken a while. We're going up to Musalak Summit, 4802, and 0.8 miles. 0 0.9 miles, been on which trail, which sign you believe. But anyway, we're heading up this way. Haven't caught up with Bob. I'm sure he's gone. It's going to get cold up here. He's going to hike fast. And uh, I'll see him maybe on the way down the down the mountain or if he stops at the summit for a little bit. But you can tell from the haze. There's no view today, I'm sure, unless it clears up later. But we'll be long gone by then. Still have a long day to hike. Here's what it's like on the little ridge in the Alpine region before we start the final climb up to the main summit on Musalak. Just head height, kind of pine trees. We've been warned twice now about the wind and the cold at the top, so uh, we can stop once these trees get down and stop blocking the wind. Put some more clothes on. And uh, boy, these new shoes today, not to dwell on feet. My feet were doing great, but now the new shoes and slightly different insert, same, same brand, slightly too small, you've heard it. But uh, that ball on my feet that was bothering me for so long is back and it hurts. Might be the rocks or feet, I don't know, the uh, shoes, the inserts, combination, taking a day off, I don't know. But boy, do they hurt today. And I'll try to stop complaining, but it's gonna slow me down on an already slow day. Uh, but these rocks are really reminding me how bad <coughs> they hurt my feet. Well, I'll take a little ibuprofen and see if things clear up and try to do better foot placement and all that. So anyway, thanks for listening to me whine for a second. Now back to some cloud hiking here. Up a little higher, starting to get some cold winds, really in the clouds here. It's hard to see down right into some North Bounders or South Bounders. We just passed some Brody. I think her name's Brody. Bodie or Brody. Anyway, when there's snow, you can use these cairns here. Follow the trail. You hear the wind blowing? I hear it's pretty rotten up here. We're gonna find out. We got a little bit before we get there. It's, temperature is dropping. Inside those uh, pine trees back there, it was 55. I bet it drops 10 or 15 degrees in the next 10 minutes or 15 minutes. It's already down to 52 and just got out into a little more exposed area here. All right, made it to the summit of Mount Musalak, 4,802 feet. Here's what it looks like. You hear it blow and it's strong up here. pictures and get out off this ridge. I'm in shorts, of course. And it's chilly. It's not that cold. 48 right now. The wind chill is pretty cold, though. All right, got to go. Bye. This reminds me of my hike up Katahdin last year. Although it was a quite a bit windier and I couldn't quite see so far. I might be able to see one of these two cairns, not both. Uh, it was a little chillier, but this is chilly, windy, rocky. There's more grass here, of course, than Katahdin, but uh, on the top, on the summit and the ridge line. All right, it's still fun walking. So I'm gonna get off here so I don't do anything silly and get off this ridge. I didn't bother putting anything on. It's not quite as cold as a rumor had it. It's chilly. Don't get me wrong, you don't want to stay up here. Uh, as my shirt dries out, I feel better. It's cold for a minute, I'm waiting for the shirt to dry out from sweating coming up that long, long, steep climb. Uh, anyway, let's get rolling. Bye. All right, here's a little fork for the Benton Trail or the Beaver Brook Trail which is the AT. I didn't see that a minute ago. Standing here staring, trying to figure out which way to go. There's a white blaze here and a blue blaze on the other one. And it said AT there. 
we're all good. I think Bob's flying down the mountain. He feels good or he's cold today. A little bit of both probably. Day off for him does wonders. I mean, he's fast anyway, but after a day off, good luck. We'll see you at camp. <laughs> He'll probably be up here taking a break somewhere where whenever it gets a little warmer out. It's a real nice view just under the base of the clouds. And over here, we're still even with the clouds. All right, here's the 1.6 mile mark to Route 112. I believe this is where things get real steep and just got to be smart going down. Everything's soaking wet. Another 9.1 miles to the shelter we're going to, Eliza Brook Shelter. All right, here's the Beaver Brook Shelter. You can just see it peeking through the woods there. Built on the side of the mountain. We're heading on though. Been following this waterfall for the last mile or so. Real steep downhill. This has been right next to it. Some of it bigger than others. Can't see it very often, but you can uh, get a good uh, video or anything. There's no trails. It's beautiful. It's an even better view. Now check out this view. This is the definite moment of Zen. Let me shut up for a second. Check out these stairs. This is straight out. Wood, eight by eights, straight downhill, way down there. All right, let's not record and take a time and get down this. I like this little metal handrail rebar drilled into the rock. To help get up and down these stairs. These aren't too bad, honestly. But if they were really, really, if it was really raining, snow, ice, forget it. You need the rebar, but you'd need it a lot of other places too. And the views get better. Enjoy. We finished the Beaver Brook Trail. First uh, White Mountain Mountain. Musalak or Musalaki. This is Kinsman's Notch here. I thought it was a dirt road. It obviously is not. It's a little gravel parking lot. That's where I got confused. It's starting to rain. And time to go straight up a few hundred feet. came from, somewhere up there. 
don't think we're going to see it today. Well, it's five o'clock, a day stretching on here, going real slow, learning my name today, slow and steady. Eliza Brook Shelter, 4.2 miles. A couple miles, two or three miles of that is climbing. See how late we get in today. I think it's going to be a painful late one, maybe seven or later. My feet are just too sore to go fast. My fitness is all right, but something's going on with the new shoes and the feet, and they're not all happy together. So the pain has returned, and it's been here for hours now. So I've lost Bob. He's gone. He'll be uh, he'll be set up at camp probably well before I get there with this climb. We've got a mile and a half climb right now and then a bunch of smaller ones. And that's going to push my feet. That's where they really, really hurt. So this will be a mile per hour. Oh, well. Not every day goes smooth. Not every day is pain-free. They say no pain, no rain, no main. we got pain and rain today, but I don't mind the rain. I don't care for the pain, though. Anyway, let's get there. The first view in a long time. It's beautiful down there, even with the power lines and the view. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Hiking along virtually here, day 118, I believe. Sorry to complain about my feet. They're they're pretty bad today. I'll, uh, I'm about ready to pull into camp, Eliza Brooks Shelter. After about 17 more painful foot miles, it was very technical, very steep up, very steep down, rocky, rooty, wet, climbing, rebar, <laughs> all kinds of tough stuff. And uh, I don't know if that's the feet problem or shoes, the insoles. I don't know. But anyway, this is. Uh, 1,815 miles here for the shelter, 1815 point something, uh, past the 1800 mile mark today. So that, you know what that means, less than 400 miles to go. Now I got about uh, 383 or 82, 380 some miles left to go. Got to get these feet um, working again. They were doing great there for a couple of weeks, but not today. New shoes, new inserts that don't fit the shoes quite right. That might be, that's pretty suspect. Um, big rocks, very technical, vertical and uh, up and down all day. Uh, very little smooth walking. Just a little bit here as I'm going into camp. Uh, I don't know that I'll be able to take any much in there. It's it's 7.30 now, almost 7.30 at night. There are probably people sleeping. Got to get in, get water, drink eat and get some get off these feet so if i don't see you have a good night and appreciate you watching hit that subscribe button if you want to hear me whine about my feet some more uh give me a thumbs up and leave a comment i'm a little slow right now getting back to comments trying to finish up this last uh last month and and uh really focusing on the hike but i still want to document it so hope you enjoy what i do get to show you anyway We'll catch up tomorrow. It's a little bit shorter day. I have to run into Lincoln, New Hampshire and get a resupply. Only carried two days of food this time. So two days and one night. But I really have uh, four mountain houses because my dad sent me a resupply with these shoes. So uh, I'm going to go eat and drown my sorrows in water. <laughs> I'll catch up with you later.